What's up, y'all? I'm back. Um, I I was just scrolling through my uh, feed after making that last uh, Predator video and to watch something else to react to and came across this video. It's only like two minutes long. I got like 40 seconds in and I was all like, I cannot react to no more of this without turning on the camera. And honestly, the whole thing seems fake for some reason. Like the opening scene with the like news people. It just seems fake, but anyway, uh, we're going to get right into this, and hopefully you enjoy the uh, this as much as me, because the three ladies in this, I find them funny, because it's like, this is real news, and they're like so chaotic, but uh, yeah, get right into it. Well, everyone in Payton is talking about it. Something smells like weed in that back part of the library. No one has located the source of the weed smell, but witnesses say that it seems to come from that area of the library behind the computer fake. desk between the magazine rack and that weird couch. Head librarian Cookie Stevens and library volunteers Margaret Mosier and Gail Fredericks were in the middle of discussing the upcoming used book These sale again when right? they smelled Watch something this. strange. So, Gail, like, when you smelled yeah. marijuana somewhere, mm -hmm. we're like shocked. Yeah. And so Doug goes, do you smell it? Oh, I thought it was my link and then I left it. You know, something funny, like it was on fire. We thought it was cookies, Lane was on fire. And I couldn't believe it was drugs no, in I've the library. Hey, like you they feel like the FBI. It's not like a chooch and chong or something. Without any way to confirm that she the smell was smoke. indeed weed, Dang, Cookie Stevens called her she husband, Sheriff Stevens, back. who called in local ceramics teacher Dutch Gibbs, who lived in Seattle for a few months in the 70s. Yeah, that's weed. Sheriff Stevens has begun compiling a list of potential suspects, including that boy Lance who has girl hair and hangs out down by the quarry, Greg Fromke, who was spotted this evening really going to town on some potato skins at Steaky Jake's Steakhouse, and Mr. Thompson. Luckily, one young reading enthusiast seemed unperturbed by the illicit smell. I hear a lot of people talking about it. I mean, I don't, I don't smell anything. I mean, you know, I, I don't smell anything. I, I really, really, really love the library. The weed smell comes on the heels of last month's discovery of a gigantic pair of women's underpants in the children's fiction section. According Boy, to Stevens, to that fake, case remains bro. open as well. well There's no way it's going to just going to have you come down and sniff it out, huh, oh, It's shit rental. I'm in recovery. Bro, there's no way that that whole scene was real. They really had the three chaotic ladies. I know one of them used to smoke weed back in the day. They brought out the one teacher that probably still smokes weed to this day to just come in the library and be like, oh yeah, I used to live in Seattle in the 70s. I'm an expertise, by the way, because you know, they do it way more in the 70s than now. <laughs> yeah, this weed. That's, then the kid, bro, the last, I love how, and then they went to the like, suspects, they picked the shaggy nigga, then they picked the other one. Then the kid they interviewed, he looked stoned out his mind. But for some reason, he looked like a child actor I know, bro. That was weird. That was weird. But, um, hope y'all enjoyed that. Other than that, I'm going to start editing these two videos. Uh, But I will see y'all when I see y'all. Peace. Have a blessed day.